Welcome to another Sunday WOAY ABC4 Community Forum, where we talk to community leaders and local success stories to discuss important information that affects all of us here in Southern West Virginia. I'm your host, Brandi Lawrence, and today we are joined by another distinguished guest, Lori McKinney, who is the co-founder and executive director of the Riff Raff Arts Collective and local musician Jada Madison are here with us this morning to discuss the We Need to Talk series. Thank you guys so much for coming to the forum. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. And, um, you know, Lori, I know we've been here. We talked about We Need to Talk before, but, you know, for the people out there that are unfamiliar, can you tell us what this series is all about? Yes. So we need to talk as a movement using music videos and docu-shorts to stoke community dialogue. So we're working with talented artists like Jada Madison to create music videos with songs that they've written either about issues that they're passionate about or just ways they see the world that we wish the community could open their hearts to. And then we're uh, bringing people together um, for dialogue and sharing them in a variety of community settings. Awesome. And um, from these, you know, community discussion events that you all have been having, what has been the impact that you've seen on the community? Well, I've heard from community members that they really appreciate the opportunity to come together and connect with a community of people who care and want to see, want to make a difference and want to make change. Um, we're hoping to not only have the artists share their stories, but empower the community members to share their stories. So we're focusing a lot on the healing powers of storytelling, and people have really appreciated it. Awesome. I'm sure. I'm sure. I know the series has been really awesome. And even just watching the, you know, the few videos that we've seen, you know, they have a really strong message and it's right. The message is being brought home, you know, right here in West Virginia. So that's really awesome. And um, how can any local artists, you know, out there that are watching, if they were interested in joining, how could they join you all? Yeah, we would love for any artist that wants to be a part of this to reach out to us. Um, in downtown Princeton, we have open stage night every Monday night, so people are welcome to come and join us and share their music there. They can reach out to us online, on Facebook, or on our website. And hopefully um, this coming year, our plan is to launch an open call for artists in Southern West Virginia. So all 13 counties of Southern West Virginia, we're looking for, for new artists that we haven't necessarily met yet. And once an artist gets involved, there's all kinds of events that we all, we all do. So there's a lot of performance opportunities. So we would, we would love to connect with, with new artists. All right. Well, anybody out there, any musicians out there, you guys get in touch with Lori McKinney and Riff Raff Arts Collective and, you know, join. So, um, Jada, you've uh, been in the Princeton, you know, like music and art scene, you know, since you were youth. Um, how has that impacted you? It's impacted me a lot. Um, I was in an all-female funk band for a while, and we traveled the East Coast uh, promoting anti-bullying. That was our message, and we shared it, and we were able to bring it to our community as well and empower youth and um, try to get them involved a little bit more because that's, like, one of the big problems. We've been trying to get the youth more involved in our town. But, uh, yeah, it's been awesome to watch the community grow and to build community through music and join in with the youth as well. Awesome, awesome. And Lori, I know you're very much involved in, you know, everything that's going on with the Riff Rap Arts Collective, the music scene and stuff, and you know, you are a musician as well. So um, what has been, you know, the impact that you've seen on like people like Jada and, you know, other youth that have come into the collective and have come into the art scene um, and, you know, on their confidence, on their lives? I just feel like there are so many voices in all of our communities that need to be uplifted. And I've been racking my brain for the better part of a couple of decades. Like we hear, you know, the, the major artists on the major labels and the, all of the things in the, in the mass media, but right in our backyards, there are these amazing voices with so much to say. And how can we amplify those voices? And I just really love bringing people together, um, events like Culture Fest, World Music and Arts Festival, and um, just creating space and creating stages uh, for artists like Jada and the others to, to share their music and connect with each other and just understand and build an awareness of the way that we can use our voices. Um, and I just hope to create more and more platforms to amplify those voices. Definitely. definitely. And um, we were talking a little bit um, yesterday you know, when we uh, were on the call about uh, the Create Your State. Uh, program. Can you tell the people what that's about a little bit? Yeah, so we've learned so much through our journey. Uh, it's been a transformative journey. Um, when we planted Roots on Mercer Street 20 years ago, um, it wasn't a place that people um, came to. It had kind of like settled uh, settled into, it had a dark cloud hovering over it and people just didn't want to be downtown. 
And so everything that we've learned through using music and creativity to, to make change, uh, we want to share that with others. Because when we started 20 years ago, if we had had a handbook or somebody to give us a step-by-step guide on, on how to make that change, we would have been really grateful for it. So we just try to pay it forward and uh, travel to other communities. We were lucky to travel with Jada and some other really wonderful creative people on a tour. We went to 25 West Virginia towns and shared our story um, with others and with a really compelling visual with video screens and um, it created just a real immersive learning experience for people and then we got them in a circle and let us all vision together what they'd like to see happen in their community and then offer them tools and resources and ongoing mentorship and so Create Your State um, has visited those 25 West Virginia towns but we're also just really available to anyone who wants to reach out to us to talk about um, creating change in their community specifically through music and the arts. Right now we're focused on a docu-series so we're um, it's going to be an episodic uh, docu-series. There's, there's a, a segment about Mount Hope in there and um, there's uh, Williamson and um, New Martinsville and uh, uh, West Huntington. A lot of the communities that we visited were basically like turning the camera on them and show, showcasing strategies like public arts and um, civic engagement and um, community events and how, uh, how those people are using those tools in their community. So, yeah. so, and um, what type of, you know, feedback did you get, you know, from these, you know, different counties within the state, but, um, you know, with the Create Your State, when you all joined and, um, you know, were able to speak to them about I think they're just really grateful for the peer-to-peer -peer mentorship, and we all have so much to learn from each other. In the communities, no matter what level of development you're at, we all have something to, to learn from each other, and just kind of that exchange of ideas and exchange of information, people are really grateful for that, and we're certainly grateful to learn from every community that we go to. And I think that when people got together in the circles, there was a lot of ideas that got passed around. Um, you want to share any of your experience with Create Your State? Um, hmm. It was really nice to have you with us. And, um, yeah, I was a little younger, too, at the time. Mm -hmm. But, uh, like, the atmosphere we have within our community, it was really awesome to see that cultivate in other communities and them being inspired from what we were doing, but also through music, because that also bridges the gap and helps everybody um, be able to unite more. But... Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm blanking a little bit. It's so neat to have your experience kind of from watching the change happen in Princeton. And mm -hmm. then especially right now, there's a lot of young people in, in our town who, who want to see change. They might not uh, have been as familiar as how it ends up happening. So, um, yeah. Yeah, I went to uh, stages at a young age. And at the time, that was the only place I was really able to go because we didn't have a coffee shop or any of the businesses really besides the riffraff downtown. Um, so I was grateful enough to watch the community build and grow and I worked downtown for a while and played music down there and I'm down in the historic district of Mercer Street now um, doing nails at a salon and yeah it's just it's been amazing to watch everything grow. That's really exciting now, too, with uh, all the perspective that you have in being a small business owner. And you do so many different things with your photography and your music. I have a and, lot of hobbies. And, <laughs> yeah, such a creative small business owner. And just that perspective that you have and coming coming to the table now um, and this beautiful song that you've written um, and excited about We Need to Talk and how uh, your perspective is going to be able to uh, hopefully open the door for other young people to come to the table and kind of um, be a part of that growth. Mm-hmm. And, you know, for um, any, like, maybe, like, shy artists out there that may not, or anybody like me that will not sing or perform in public, I'll, I'll talk all day, but <laughs> I can't perform in public. If anybody out there, do you have any, like, type of advice for them that may feel the urge to, you know, get out and express themselves musically, artistically? Yeah. I personally say it starts with just writing it down and posting it. Like, even if you can't get yourself to a physical place to speak your truth or perform your truth, you know, posting a video goes a long way. We're in a new age with social media, and it takes one share, one person to relate to that, and it spreads like wildfire. So just do it. <laughs> yeah, well, just do it. <laughs> yeah, just do it. <laughs> See how it can turn into a snowball from there. because if It you can. Do that online and then maybe get up the courage to come to an open mic like uh, at the room upstairs, which mm -hmm. is super comfortable. Yeah. You say. 
everybody's really supportive and the couches you can kind of like sit back on a couch and be incognito if you want and there's <laughs> snacks, <laughs> snacks and, and once you make yourself get on stage that one time i feel like it might get easier from that point forward mm -hmm. would you say so yeah that's where i started so mm -hmm. yeah and it definitely seems like you all have like a, a welcoming community that's really just open to um new talent and uh, you know, collaboration and working together, which is really awesome. And I really didn't know that Princeton had such a large art scene until I really met Lori and we started talking about We Need to Talk and the Riff Rap Arts Collective and Culture Fest and pretty much all that you all have going. So that's really awesome. And, um, you know, for the future, Lori, what would you love to see We Need to Talk, the series, um, you know, turn into along the years? So it's been neat to kind of like set the stage for we need to talk with these first few videos. Um, the first one, we just explored kindness and how the ways that we treat each other matter and why it's important to listen to each other, especially in times like these, um, hearing from the lived experience and the stories of another, you might have your mind open to a perspective that uh, you couldn't see before. And the second video talked about compassion, especially in this moment that we're in right now. It's so important that we're looking inward and, and having compassion for each other. Um, and Rick's really excited about Jada's video. We're really gonna look at, uh, you know, West Virginia, what we can do to, to create more of the communities that we want to see. And so um, as we move forward and we, we're gonna talk about some more complex subject matter. Some of the artists really have things that they feel called to speak about. We're really hoping that using this medium of music video, just this powerful medium of music uh, that we can, um, you know, help our communities open their hearts to uh, other ways um, to view the world uh, through each other's stories and just really help the community feel uplifted to share their stories with artists like Jada having the courage to step out and share their story. Hopefully more people in the community can, um, can learn ways to do that. Awesome. And I really hope that they can because, I mean, it's just so much talent here, you know, in West Virginia. And I think all of it does need to be, you know, exposed and people should be able to have an outlet to talk about what goes on here. So um, we're about a minute or so out from our first break. But before we go on to actually the We Need to Talk promo, do you mind plugging the contact information so people know how to get in touch with you all? Yeah, absolutely. You can reach out to the Riff Raff Arts Collective on our website, theriffraff.net. You're also welcome to find us on Facebook. Our, our phone number is 304. 4425 6425 and we would love to hear from you. Awesome, awesome. All right. And for you guys out there that may not be familiar with the We Need to Talk series, we are going to show you guys a promo. And when we come back from break, we are going to have a special preview of Jada's video for the We Need to Talk series. You guys stay tuned. We all have so much to learn from each other. No one has all the answers. We may have our minds made up on a certain issue and think that there is no other way until we get a glimpse from another's perspective and hear about the lived experience from someone who is walking a vastly different journey than our own and our minds and our hearts are open. We need to listen deeply to each other, try our best to connect and understand our neighbors and help us lead towards a more just and harmonious way of life. Now more than ever, it is vital. So We Need to Talk is a movement using music videos and docu-shorts to build bridges and catalyze community healing. So what that means is we're creating works with artists who have written songs about either issues that they're passionate about or ways that we see the world that we wish that the community could open their hearts to. We're going to use these videos to stoke community dialogue and hopefully build some bridges along the way. We Need to Talk. Catch the next video in the series, Wild and Wonderful, Available online starting November 20th. It took me a long time to appreciate where I came from. The mountains and the beauty here, my friends and family and the community, this place will always feel like home. As I sit up on the mountains Wondering where life's gonna take me next 
Together the breeze of the wind had to guide me Back home where my soul is meant to be Sweet old West Virginia She's called me back yet again And I just couldn't wait to see ya It's been a while I will always come back my friend I've been far away for so long I can't help but wonder how I keep getting drawn Back to my roots, they're so strong She keeps me grounded, she gave me this song Wild and wonderful, they call her mountain mama Have you ever seen the sun arise Or how the sun sits in the holler Sweet old West Virginia She's called me back yet again I just couldn't wait to see ya It's been a while I will always come back my friend I've been far away for so long I can't help but wonder how I keep getting drawn Back to my roots, they're so strong She keeps me grounded, she gave me this song Why don't you come on down and witness for yourself Magic in these mountains, these towns A community like nothing else Sweet old West Virginia She's called me back yet again mm -hmm. I just couldn't wait to see ya It's been a while I will always come back, my friend Right. That was beautiful, Jada. Thank you. So uh, what was, you know, I can kind of tell myself being a, also a West Virginian, what the inspiration was. It really looks like, you know, your home and your family. But, you know, what really inspired you to do this video that was so personal? Um, so back in 2020 is when I actually wrote the song and I was actually speaking with Lori on the way up. I have these moments of awareness of just appreciating everything that's around me and um, the community here, my friends and family uh, play a big part in why I've decided to stay in West Virginia to begin with. And um, I just wanted those scenes in that music video to kind of represent why I wanted to stay and what makes West Virginia so important to me. So. And I think that's really awesome because I think uh, growing up in West Virginia, there are some people that are so eager to, you know, get out. And it's great to, you know, go out and see the world. But I think it's also really important for us to appreciate what we have here. And West Virginia really is a beautiful place. Yeah. And, you know, when I was younger, I was actually 20 when I wrote that song. And um, being able to travel when I was with the band and stuff, I always had like an itch to get out, but anytime I would be in a different state or exploring, I would think, hey, that would be so awesome to have in our home state, in our hometown. Um, and so I, that's really important to me is to bring things like that back to kind of cultivate the same atmosphere in those other places and bring it here because why not, you know? Definitely, definitely. So, uh, you know, you said you wrote this song a little while back. Um, what inspired you, well, what urged you rather to um, do a video for the We Need to Talk series? So, hmm. I remember us discussing this in 2020 when you guys had the idea of the We Need to Talk. And me and Lori actually 
did a stroll down in the historic district and we walked up and it was when the sun was setting and we were just kind of talking about like visions on how to improve the community and you know our hopes and dreams and um, whenever they talked about the we need to talk I was eager to jump on board and um, I wish every young person could have the kind of drive and the, that, that vision about they want to see change and uh, you've been such a big part of the change and it'd be nice to see uh, other young people be able to feel like they can come to the table and feel like they have the ability to also be a part of that change. Mm -hmm. I feel like with your music video it's going to bring a lot of young people to the table. Yeah. And I think it'll also bring a lot of, give them a lot of pride, a sense of pride, you know, being West Virginians and being from the Mountain State. Because when you literally look around you, there are so many opportunities and things that you just have to see it. Yeah. Yep. So um, what do you want, you know, people to really take away from after, you know, watching your video? I just want them to be able to see the beauty in our state and appreciate it and, um, you know, it doesn't matter, in my opinion, it does matter if you have anything negative to say or positive. Like, we almost need both ends of the conversation to improve and to make changes. So I think that's the one thing I really want to stress about the video is um, it doesn't matter your walk of life or your opinions. Like, we can all come together and make change and start the conversation now on how to improve and to get people to stay or to come back or, um, yeah. yeah. Definitely, and I think that song really encapsulates that. So Thank that you. was beautiful, you have a beautiful voice. Thank so you. I loved it. Thank you. And also I would love to know, where did that band come from? I love that band too. <laughs> <laughs> that came from our friend Kim and um, we were blessed enough to be able to use her van and she traveled with us that day and it was awesome because I love those vans so much and I've wanted <laughs> one for so long. But yeah, it was a dream. It was really cool. It was awesome, awesome. And Lori, what does it you know mean for you to you know uh, to you know worked with Jada and to like kind of seeing Jada come up in the you know the art scene and things, and then for her to you know create a music video that's so you know touching and personal. Yeah, it was such a beautiful process, and I did. I feel like I have watched you grow up, and it's so amazing to just see. Uh, so you come into your voice and uh, all the songs that you've written over the years have just been so beautiful and it was nice to just kind of come into you and asking you what song that you felt called to speak out on and I just uh, was uh, really honored to be a part of it and so watch your vision come to life and you seem like you just love nature so much. Yeah, you know? I do. And uh, being out in nature is like, I find myself working, I'm a workaholic and I'm behind my computer so much and to just get out and just really appreciate our home together was a beautiful thing. I think right a big part of this is just being able to look around and appreciate what's mm -hmm. around you i think sometimes we take it for granted um, definitely definitely I went to bridge day and it was like the first mm -hmm. time i'd stayed outside for as long as i had and i felt so good afterwards so yeah. i think a lot of people don't realize they need it until they get it mm -hmm. so like why don't we do this more often yeah <laughs> absolutely and a lot of the places you know that you were at these a lot of them you could recognize but they look just look so beautiful um on camera and on film and i can only imagine you know being there and mm -hmm. hopefully that encourages people to you know get out more and go see a lot of the places that you were at and you know really experience everything that west virginia has to offer yeah absolutely so um oh well since it's this community forum. I love to ask you um, with Riff Raff Arts Collective, with the We Need to Talk series, is there any way that the community can, you know, help you all out and get involved in, you know, the videos or helping out with the collective or just any way that it can help you all? I appreciate you asking. I think for this particular music video, we're getting ready to share a series of community conversations. So on November 28th at Stages Music School at 7 p.m., anyone is welcome to come and join the conversation. We would love to have anyone that would love to be part of it. It's, it's a really relaxed atmosphere. We don't want people to feel intimidating like you're coming to like a, a super formal meeting. There'll be snacks and from local businesses and coffee and pastries and it'll be a nice relaxed environment. We even have fidget toys on all the tables. <laughs> So uh, want anyone that would like to be a part of the conversation to come and join us. And um, yeah, the, the music video will debut online on November 20th. And we certainly would love people to share and help us spread the word. 
absolutely. And we are um, almost out on our last break, but before we go, one more time, do you mind plugging the contact info? Yeah. Please reach out to us anytime. You can find us on our website at theriffraff.net. And if you'd like to learn more about this project, you can click on We Need to Talk. You can find us on social media, on Facebook or Instagram. Um, and you're welcome to call us on the phone too, anytime, 304-425-6425. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for coming to the forum. Lori, it's always a pleasure having you. And Jada, thanks so much for coming by. Feel free to come back again. We <laughs> loved having you. And thank you guys so much for joining us for Sunday Community Forum. You guys be sure to tune in next week where we speak to more local leaders and success stories about everything important going on here in Southern West Virginia. You guys have a happy Sunday.